fake news has been a tool used to spread misleading information, whether it's in the form of a clickbait headline you see on Facebook or in the form of an email forwarded to you. This is the Podbox. It's a smart speaker that builds you a custom podcast on literally any topic. And it's powered by OpenAI, Gemini, and a bunch of other AI models. Now, supposedly, there is no ads when you play this thing, and it also gives you reliable, up-to-date news every single time that you press play. So, skateboarding, video games, movies, science, whatever topic you wanna hear news on, this thing can give it to you on demand, which sounds awesome, but... Does it actually work? Well, let's go find out. So just like last week's robot, Medi, it also comes from Little Savants and it comes in this cute little bag with robots all over it. It's actually made really nice. The directions are a little strange. They're just made out of paper, but <laughs> they work. And inside the bag, you've also got the charging cord and the AC-DC adapter, which just like the Medi robot that I did last week, I am super appreciative to Little Savants for including this. I even got a comment from Dogburn that said he feels the exact same way that more companies should come with the AC-DC adapter. So that is awesome. And then last in the bag is the Podbox itself. Now this thing is super cute. My only complaint is that it does definitely look like it was 3D printed. You can see the little line from right here where it's a little bit squiggly. The front also pops off pretty easily, which is cool if you need to get into your electronics, but I could see this thing popping off from time to time. Either way, it looks really cute and it feels good. It's just definitely 3D printed, something you're gonna notice if you get your own. So now let's hop into setup because it's super simple. First things first, let me show you around this thing. It's got two buttons on top. One of these is going to be so that we can actually chat with it. And then on the back side, you've got a little knob, which is what turns it on. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Turn it all the way up. This controls your volume as well. And then you've also got two buttons here, one of them being mode so if you hold that down you can also reset your device if you end up connecting it to Wi-Fi and for some reason you want to set it up or it's messing up and you need to set it up because of that that's how you do it so now that we have it turned on we're gonna wait until that button goes to blue that means it's ready to pair and then you'll just connect to Wi-Fi okay now that we are all connected to Wi-Fi your personal podcast companion if you want a custom podcast, it will take me a few minutes to generate. Otherwise, I have ready-to-go podcasts on the topics of science, health, and politics. Press the button and tell me what kind of podcast you would like to listen to. Cool. Well, let's prompt it and let's say we want to listen to science. Hey, Podbox, I want to listen to a science podcast. So it's going to take a little keep while. this podcast short and to the point as we explore some of the most recent updates on science. As we dive into the chilling landscape of Antarctica, our attention turns to a pressing and unsettling issue that plagues even the most remote and isolated research bases. Create me a podcast that is political. Let's dive into this podcast where I'll briefly cover a few of the latest stories on politics. Moving on to a significant legal development in Florida, a federal judge has put a temporary halt on construction at the controversial immigrant detention center known as Alligator Alcatraz. So, so far for science and politics, it's worked really, really well. I wanna give it a topic though, that's like way out of left field that it probably wouldn't have programmed anywhere in it, which is skateboarding, cause I'm pretty interested in skateboarding. So let's try that. Create me a podcast on skateboarding news over the last month. See if it can do that. Adding wow factor, almost ready check back in a few minutes. Okay, so science, politics, all those things go pretty fast through the pod box. But obviously when you prompt it for something that's outside of the realm of what it normally talks about, like say skateboarding, it's gonna have to go wherever ChatGPT is set up on a server and it's gonna have to have it all prompt out, then send back to this machine and say it through the pod box voice. So it's already been about 60 seconds. I'm very curious how long it takes for it to prompt something that it's not used to prompting. Give me a science podcast on space. The testing portion is a little shorter than I thought it would be. And let me tell you why. <laughs> 
The pot box has some good features and I also think there are a lot of improvements. So let's just jump right into those. Look wise, it's pretty cute and I'll probably keep it on my shelf in the background of my videos because it does look like a cute little robot. As far as its actual functionalities for science and politics and fighting disinformation, which is what it's kind of marketed on, I did notice that it gave really unbiased news, which I think is pretty cool. And it was really good at grabbing the latest headlines for science as well as politics. Two things that it claims to do and it does really well. When you prompt it, it gives you those podcasts almost immediately. So that's pretty impressive. Improvement wise, the first thing that struck me when I opened this was that it is most certainly 3D printed. You can see here at the bottom that it has a wavy conjoining line. And on the rest of the robot, you can still see the lines from the 3D print. You can kind of see some imperfections in a lot of different places. And this front cover right here, pops off way too easily. <laughs> now the construction inside does look good. There's nothing really rattling around other than the buttons up top. So that is a plus. One of the things that I don't know if it's just the 3D printing or whether it's the way that it's housed inside with just plastic on speaker, but I did notice that when the pod box is talking, it does rattle a lot. You kind of get that reverb. It's almost like speakers in a trunk that haven't had dyno mat fit on the inside. So it's just like making that rumbling noise. That's kind of what I get from this. I feel like there needs to be better acoustics and probably get some better padding inside. Something to absorb the sound, but still allow the sound to come out of the slats that you see here on the sides. Another thing that I think would put this over the top is if you made this front an LED screen. As it sits, like I said, it's pretty cute, but it's not very interactive. And I think if you got that interactive portion, this would be killer just sitting on a shelf and then add in the podcast capabilities and this thing would be amazing. Although I'm sure an LCD screen would probably raise the price a little bit, which by the way is that much. Now the last improvement has to do with functionality. Like I said, science, politics, it prompted without any issue. However, I prompted it twice for skateboarding content as well as science content with space involved. And both times it told me that it was thinking about creating a podcast. And then I spent about four to five minutes waiting and then it shut off. So it was never able to prompt anything outside of science or politics, which I was kind of bummed on. All in all, I think this is a great idea, but I think it's just a concept right now. Unlike Little Savant's other robot that I did last week, Medi, I think that one is more in a finished product state. It was cute, it was squishy, it worked really well. The prompting was pretty fast. But with this, I feel like it just needs a little bit more work, but I feel like they're on the right path. Now, if you would like to pick up one of these for yourself and test it out like I did, I will leave a link down in the description below if you'd like to do so. All of these are available on the Little Savants website. And I wanna give a huge shout out to Little Savants for letting me test this thing out, even if it is still in its beta phase. And if you enjoyed what you saw today and you enjoy all my other videos, if you haven't subscribed yet, come on, man, hit that subscribe button. I also just created a brand new version and cover of my sci-fi book. So if you wanna go and check that out, I'll put it here right on the screen. I'm Eric, this is Eric's Tech World, where tech and adventure meet. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.